is something I saw on the internet a couple days ago and it really got me thinking. I mean, I think we know the answer to the question, but I think it's there's a lot more nuance to the, to the question. Um, who would you want? Who would you want in your team in the next five years? John Morant or Lamelo Ball? I think we all agree John, John Morant's the answer, right? Yes. I do think it's a lot closer than you think, though. No. It is. This is why I want to beat beat both of you. <laughs> Go ahead. Lord, Zach, I want to take a wiffle ball to the wiffle ball that to the side of your heads for thinking this. It's not even close. Let me start naming young players, and then you tell me when when ball is there. Tatum, Moran, Zion, Jalen Brown. Okay, but that's not the question, though. Trey Young. Okay, so let me let me let me, def- let me you defend my the wrong position. Guy. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably take Lamelo Ball's five-year trajectory over. Pretty much everyone on that list, except for maybe Tatum and Moran. But one concern of John Moran. Take him over Trey Young. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I don't know. Trey Young had a bad had a bad a bad year this year. At this point, he his had a bad I, year, and he carried his team to the playoffs in the second half of the season. His size and his defense are always going to be an issue. Bounce back the next year. This is why I say five years. Here's yeah. my issue. Look, it is job for me right now, obviously. But here's my concern. And, and now, granted, Ja is doing those things right now. Ja is adding to his game. If that three-point shot, he's not a great shooter, but he can hit it. You know, if he can continue make, making those shots with more consistency going forward, he's going to stop. <laughs> My question is, is, his style of play is still very much like Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook, that you wonder if, is this year the peak of John Brand? Like, could he get better than this, actually? Absolutely. Only if he adds to his game. LaMelo Ball has a more of a diverse game than I would say than John Morant right now. Uh, I don't think so. Not at all. He doesn't have the athleticism. He doesn't have the shooting prowess. He disappears for weeks on end with this team. He well, allows also, teammates he's also a worse team than, than, than Memphis, too. Charles is not even close to as good a team as Memphis is. And I think also, too, the, the thing is, will John Morant be this guy in five years? I think the only That's thing you have to work on is that free throw shooting because That's when you stay in the 70s like that with, with a, a style where you live in the paint, if you can't capitalize on three-point plays and your free throws, this is always going to hinder you. I mean, right. so, like, I just, every time I see, like, a bad free throw shooting thing, I always think of, like, Memphis Tigers and like Derrick Rose and them choking away that championship by missing free throws constantly and just it always does it always happens like you have to hit the, the free free throws you have to they're called free throws for right again again it's Ja it's just that yeah, some but... some of the, the, the dynamics of his game though concern me though for the long term that's why I said that the key was five years I yeah mean, so in five it's... years what is Lam- what is Lamelo Lamelo Ball is gonna be better at than John. He's probably gonna be a still a solid player, you know, right in that cusp. I mean, know? his his ce- his ceiling is Luca. Lower. Who? It's lower. Wait, whose ceiling is Luca? Lamelo Ball. No way. Not that, even close. That's the ceiling. You're insane. I I'm, he's not gonna reach the ceiling. Look, his I'm, ceiling is Stefan Marbury. Okay, that that is that is his ceiling. That is the mellow ball ceiling. Stefan Marbury. I just think my concern with Ja is solely the injuries, solely, you know, his body being able to withstand all this, his style of play, obviously, too. Whereas LaMelo Ball, like, he'll be steady. He'll be steady, like Tim Duggan's steady. Well, John Brent, is John Brent's high, is high now? Will he get better than this? Will he be able to sustain this? Will he add to his game? So it is Ja, but I think it's, it's, a, I think it's definitely a conversation to be had about, okay, Who's the more steady one in 2027, 2026? That's in 2026, 2027, LaMelo La- 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 Ball will still be trying to make it through past the first round, if he can even get to the first round with the team. He just needs to up, keep his efficiency up with the same volume he's putting up right now. And he'll but be he's right not back efficient. He's yeah, he's not like efficient. Jock Moran is right efficient. Now. Like, you're oh. expecting a guy who's 22 years old to fall off a cliff in five years, Ernest. 
Yet you think a guy who's 21 is all of a gun, all of a gun, all of a sudden after three years in the NBA is going to make some Superman leap. Like I don't get it. No, I don't see the bells. I don't see them making the leap. But my question is, will John Morant sustain this high level play in five years based on the way he plays basketball? That's all. Okay, so if he if, if John Morant even took one step down, just one level down, you know what he is? He's still That's three cool. levels above LaMelo Ball. All I'm saying, all, Zach, all I'm saying is this. There is precedent. We saw Derrick Rose do this in the first couple of years in the league, and then he fell off due to injuries. I pray to God John Morant does not, does not do that. But And who were you putting up for comparison against Derrick Rose during that time? Nobody. Yeah, we you have that. You have to a lesser extent because Russell Westbrook was another was the prototype I, I used with John Morant. Russell Westbrook lasts a lot longer, obviously, but he didn't add to his game, and eventually it, you're seeing it now. But Ja, no, but you've practice. already seen Ja add to his game. Westbrook never has added to his game. Yet you've already if, seen Ja add to his game. Again, if that three point shot is, I'm not even saying he has to be Steph Curry good as a shooter, but if if he has that shot with much more consistently going forward, he is. Unstoppable, and he's going to be a top five player in this league. 